recording. So this is a brief instructional on how the backhoe comes together to attain both the the boom and stick motion. So here's say the backhoe. Here's the boom. We've got pivot plate, pivot plate, that's the stick. And we've got the backhoe, the actual bucket right here. There's another pivot plate there. There's going to be a quick attachment to the bucket. Now the the concept is here. How do you what do you do here? To attach the backhoe boom that's the boom call it the boom this is the stick and this is the bucket so the boom is going to go up and down and of course the stick is going to go rotate around this pivot up and down and the bucket also curls so in order to get this motion right here we're going to attach a cylinder somehow to this to this attachment plate let's call it the attachment plate and we're gonna have a cylinder attached to the to the boom somehow and here the boom attaches with another pivot to this attachment plate now that will solve the up and down so that it's gonna be up and down motion of the boom in order to dig a hole. You want to dig a hole in the ground. Here's your ground level and here's your tractor to which the <laughs> the backhoe is attached. Now, this tractor can be very big so you can you can match the weight of the, ba the, the backhoe. So this attachment plate is going to have both feet on it, stabilizing feet that will prevent the backhoe from tipping to the side or tipping under the weight of soil tipping down this way. So stabilizing feet are one feature and the one property here that we have to consider is that this entire backhoe, so this entire backhoe has to twist side to side in and out of the page. So actually in and out of the page, so that's the sign for in and out of the page. So there has to be a, a rotation mechanism here to enable that to happen. Now let's take a look at this this attachment plate in more detail so let's jump out of here out of these scribbles to what the attachment plate would look like well in order to be very stiff we'd have to make it a a stiff box structure out of our box beam tubing so these are gonna be our 4x4 tubes and I would make it one half inch for super stiffness one half inch wall so these are our tubings with the XYZ corners. So once again, the standard XYZ construction. And we're going to attach somehow. This is, so this is going to be where the, that's going to be trying to draw the, the boom here. But somehow you have to attach it, attach the boom through its pivot and the cylinder attachment to the, uh, to the boom itself. So that's basically it. This, this is the geometry that Sam, we're, we'd like you to do. And besides that, this is, if this is our attachment plate, we need to attach this entire item to the tractor on this side here. So the tractor, I'm going to blast over this here. So the tractor is going to be here, just a box representing the tractor. And this pivot motion, so, so your standard stock pivot plates somehow make it possible for this to rotate for this, uh, this plate to be rotating in and out of the page. So that's the concept. Now, these are going to be the, that's going to be a pivot shaft there. And there also has to be a cylinder, one or two cylinders that will make, allow for the motion of the side to side motion of the, of the bucket, sorry, of the, of the attachment plate to happen. And that's about it for now.